and welcome to the Cubed Core. My name is Colin and welcome back to Helldivers episode 95. So, this time we're doing the shock and drop combo for the Helldivers combos 101. So, I want to quickly mention, first of all, uh, I want to thank the Lethal Diva. Uh, during my vanilla series, this person connected or uh, corrected me on a whole bunch of stuff. For instance, the railgun, the jump pack, stun grenades, and smoke grenades, which I haven't done something for the smoke grenades yet. I really want to soon, but I have done something for the stun grenades. That'll be the next episode. Look forward to it. But um, I wanted to thank them for telling me all about the railgun primarily. And uh, that's how I kind of came up with this idea. Um, it was already kind of being thought of because I uh, like the Tesla Tower, which um, this combo has stratagem options, which normally I don't really insist upon these, but in this one I do. Um, so I'm going to be talking about the stratagems first, which is really out of order, but I will be. So you get the jump pack, two Tesla turrets, which is like the Tesla Tower things, and then a rail cannon strike. And the options are, instead of the rail cannon strike, you have uh, another jump pack for instance, in snow, except this time I will be showing off the rail cannon strike, even though I would really prefer to have another jump pack because it's snow, because we're playing the Ashen planet, the cyborg home planet. Oh yeah, I'm Pitch Galaxy, this is just another player. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. The last time we played the Ashen planet, it was terrible and really, really hard so oh hello wow no wonder there are so many enemies so let's get started uh well let's finish it i guess so the perk is uh the displacement field which i will get into in just a moment it's primarily for the tesla tower uh and i'll tell you why and it'll make a lot more sense why it's called shock and drop and then, um, the other thing is the rail cannon, which, or the rail gun, which I had already thought about using, uh, the, um, like I said, you know, the Tesla tower when I was creating this, uh, perk, but it was for a different reason. Um, dang it. It's also still kind of useful for that, you know. Ugh. Now, this isn't nearly as good with, um, with, ooh, actually, hang on, I can take out the tank. This isn't nearly as good with cyborgs, it's much better with illuminates, and I would have loved to have showed it off with illuminates, the problem is, illuminates are dead, so I had to show it off with cyborgs. Um, but this was the better choice between showing this off and my next showcase off for the cyborgs. I decided this one would be better to show off for cyborgs and the other one would be a lot better for the bugs. Since, like I said, the Illuminates are dead. So, um, what was it? Right, so, where this all kind of fits together, uh, which by the way, again, low ammo. Kind of want to have a teammate who can give you ammo. Which stinks, I know, but oh crap. Get up! If that thing stops, I will freaking crush it. Which is how this thing works. Crap. Uh. Please crush them! No, you will move nowhere. Yeah, that's how this works. That's why it's called the shock and drop. Why am I not jumping, ever? There we go. Crap. Crushed my turret. Uh. Yes, you can jump. Oh, crap. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Jump! Oh, yes! Uh. Thank goodness. Okay. So... This is why I don't like the Ashen Planet, because it is extremely difficult. Ugh. Nope. Come on. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Yeah. Holy moly. 
So basically what you're supposed to do is using the uh, rail guns stun feature, you stun something and crush it with the Tesla tower, and then that- STOP THROWING GRENADES! You're going to get me killed! Jeez, what a nuisance. How stupid are you that you're throwing freaking grenades at a tank? Once again, save the team. Jeez. I can hardly talk because of the freaking ash. If you're wondering why I call it ashen, it's because I feel like so many freaking people die here. So many players die here. It's just... It's not snow. It's the ash of our teammates. Ah! Stinking tank. Ow, 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 ow. I am ready to throw this. Okay. Dude, I got you. So, the way this kind of works is you, uh, stun something with your railgun and then have it squished by something else, which, um, once again, kind of suggested by that person. But, uh, it doesn't matter what width, I just thought the Tesla turret would be best because then also, combining with the jump pack, you can kind of... Nice work, numbnuts. Why are people so dumb? Um, but anyways, you can use the Tesla tower to kind of jump up and over it. Um, and, you know, when you jump up over it, the enemies will follow you. You can kind of crowd control them through the Tesla tower and then zap them to death. And it still works as a regular Tesla tower, which will zap things that are coming through it. So, really great combo. You can just jump back and forth between it and survive. Which really is pretty fun, actually. It's pretty fun. But And then uh, the rail cannon is just to keep tanks from destroying your turret and for whenever you need to but apparently people are too dumb and tanks just roll up and crush it when it comes to cyborgs so like i said not the best combo for cyborgs but this one was preferred to the other option so sorry like i said i would have really preferred to show this off as illuminous because i felt that this would be best shown off for the illuminates because it it was a nice mix between, you know, things, and it wouldn't get run over. And you could still stun them and drop it on them. But no, no, no. You, uh, you get tanks. Oh, and uh, also it's, an uh, it's armor piercing, so you could, you know, still hurt bug tanks and... Aluminum tanks and stuff, but nope, you get this, and uh, this is what you get. So, yay. Seriously, dude? Are you. Why? What compelled you to walk through the minefield? Come on, dude. Look. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was actually kind of funny to watch. Oh crap! Oh nice. To watch as that person's mech just blew apart. It was really amusing. So, yeah, that was actually really funny. Still the Ashen Planet, though, and still we're going to die a lot. Look at this. I'm the last one. Oh, no, wait, that guy, yeah, the glitch is confusing. I didn't, I thought he was dead, okay? Ah! I was nearly dead. Glad I have the displacement field. Oh, right, displacement field. So, if, for instance, if you get zapped by your turret while jumping over, which, by the way, what I suggest is running halfway through the field, jumping up, or not, halfway through the field, 
halfway until your turret, you know, the field between you and your turret, halfway through that field, jumping up and over, and then you'll end up on the other side, plus you won't get zapped to death. And you won't have to worry about your displacement field going off, which, by the way, you do still end up getting zapped. Your displacement field will snap into action and teleport you out of there. And that's why I have a displacement field, because then you don't die. Like a moron who doesn't know how a freaking Tesla turret works. Why? What are you guys doing? I'm probably gonna ditch this. I freaking hate this planet. Out of all the planets that are... Out of all of the planets that are set up for these end planets, this is my least favorite because it's snow. So it's not level 9, it's more like level... I don't know, I've never played level 11, so... I don't know. It's really freaking hard! Yeah, I've never played level 11 or higher, so... Yeah. The pro is still pretty low. I've just never had a team. I feel like I want a team who knows what they're doing. Who can actually freaking run when we're supposed to. Who knows these things instead of ends up acting like a stupid mother fudging moron and gets us all killed. Oh, we're, we're going back to the capture point. Fine. Dude. At least turn around and shoot something. Okay? There's a difference between turning around to shoot an entire group and turning around to shoot something that's not gonna get off your butt. Which mainly includes those little thingies from cyborgs. The uh, Illuminates have their three-legged crawler thingies, and then the bugs have those jump and spray thingies. Which are really, really annoying. You know, the poison bugs. Those guys. Those guys are really annoying. So, yeah. Hey, I saved your life. Be grateful. We need to get in there and we need to turn off the thing and then we need to revive our teammate. Why? Dude, we get it, all right? Request confirmed. Request acknowledgement on its way. Nope, I can't blow it up. Oh well, just wait for the nuke to fall and then we blow it up and I flee like a motherfucker. I just hope it blows everything up. Come on. Nice. Nice. Hey, it worked. Nice. Right, well, uh, that's my time. So, yeah. Um, nice. Great. Well, uh, I will find this last thing and then I will be out of here. But I'm going to say my outro. So, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. If you want to help me out, hit the share button to your friends. My social media will be in the description. And I will see you in the next video. Just gotta find this freaking thing. It should be out in the open somewhere, so I assume it's gonna be right over here. We're moving, numbnuts. We're moving, numbnuts. Really? What are you doing? No. No what? I am so confused. May just run out of time. There it is. All right, here we go. Well, I'm gonna run up here real fast. Da -da 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 -da. All right, see you in the next video.